In this episode, I take the movement apart, pick out the holes in the plates, and get the brass parts ready for cleaning in the ultrasonic cleaner. Welcome back to Scotty's Clock World. I upload new clock repair videos on Sunday and Wednesday mornings of every week. Lift the plate. Now we'll take the top plate off. And there we go. See what it's like on the other side. Yeah, not too bad. There's the escape wheel. We'll leave that in there for a moment. Then we'll come back to that because you want to have a quick look and see what we've got here in relation to the rest of the, the wheels. Oh, look at the rust on that. Well, we'll have a bit of work to do on this lot. I'll run over that very quickly with a, with a piece of steel wall and you can see the difference there. Literally before and after. All right, we've got some work to do on this movement but I'll put that back into there. Initially, yep, they're all pretty bad. They all need serious cleaning. And we'll slot that into there. And that is what our movement looks like, including seriously bent hammer wire down here. All right, I'll clean my bench up and we'll take the movement parts out. Right, we'll start off by taking the levers out. We'll do the lift lever first. And down here, it's got a wire spring on it. Actually, I'll leave that to later because that's seriously stuck under the warning wheel. All right, we can now slide the, the lift lever off. You can see it's pretty rusty. That's a count lever. That's the lever that stops the maintenance cam. And that lever there arrests the pin on the warning wheel. And that is a shocking piece of spring. We'll obviously change that before that goes back in. That's definitely not acceptable. Make it easier, I'll come down to the center here. Motion works. The cannon pipe. Minute arbor. Hour wheel. And minute wheel. We'll put that in the center, then put that piece up there. All right, now it's a little bit easier to get going. Strike side, first wheel. Second wheel. Third wheel helped itself out. That's the one we cleaned before. We'll run over all these with some steel wool before we put them back in. All right. We might have to check that pinion. There might be a bit of a, a bend in that. And then we'll take off the going side mainspring, which seems to be in reasonably good condition, but it's very, very dry. So we'll clean those and grease those later on before we put them back into the movement. Put that one aside. Now, back to the strike side. First wheel comes out make it a bit easier to get at the, the maintenance cam, which is in under there. Now we'll take that lever out. Yeah, it could do with a bit of a clean up also. It's not too bad, but it could do. Strike side mainspring comes off, not in too bad a condition. The coils are relatively evenly spaced around there, which is good. And then we've got this absolutely horrible spring that's putting some positive pressure on the, on the hammer. And look at the angle of the hammer wire. Dear, oh dear. We've got some work to do here, but that doesn't matter because that's what this is all about. Now that is a pretty heavy back plate, actually. I'm going to measure and see how thick that is. Very heavy. Right, we'll put it over the... 0.42 mil. All right, put the vernier away. Now we'll check some of the the holes in the plate. I don't think there's other than the the mainspring winding arbors have got any bushings in them. That pretty much guarantees we'll be doing some. Is that a, a bushing or just a mark? 
Oh, run a peg wood round in there. Disgustingly dirty, good oak. No, they're all just holes in the plate. Well, that guarantees we're going to be doing some bushing, that's for sure. All right, I'll run around these and clean them up a little bit before we put them into the ultrasonic cleaner. Clean them up a little bit and not too bad. They might come up all right. And then we'll try the biggies here and see what we can find, if anything. No, nope, they look all right. Run it up and down the side. They've done pretty well to last that amount of time without having bushings in them, so I assume there's going to be some pretty sloppy pivot bushing alignments, I would think. What do we got here? Is that a... No, just vertigris. I thought we might have actually found a bushing there, but we haven't. Yeah, they're a bit dirty, but not too bad. I'll just, as a matter of interest, we'll put the plates together and we'll check to see. What condition the escape wheel pivots are in. No, the plate looks all right. It seems to be out a little bit, that's all. Right, well, we'll have a look and see what we've got here. Pinion there goes into that hole there. And align the posts. All right. Guys come out, put him back in. Over. That's got him. All right, I'll hold the plates tight. And that looks horrible. This pivot here is serious and needed being redone. And all right, I'll take that out and give you a closer look at it. You can see what I mean, but it definitely needs to be redone. Look at that. That whole layer is probably 50 to 60% larger than it should be. And it's dropped down there, so we'll have to recenter that before we clean that up. Oh, well, that confirms what I thought. We're going to have a fair bit of work to do on these. That's for sure. All right. Well, I'll get them ready to put in the ultrasonic cleaner. Look at the, the rust on that arbor. And then while they're going through the cleaner, we'll take the, or actually before they go in, we'll take the these pieces off there. I right, will clean that up. Not a problem. We'll strip those off where's our number six key wind them off and they should in theory come out relatively easy but they're going to be obnoxious by the look of it that's the way it comes out for sure now where's the number six one of the lines on it there we go once we've taken the the great wheel off we'll be able to put them into the the ultrasonic cleanup and clean them up a bit that is seriously hard to get on with way over look at that wound right out that should now come straight out all right For some reason it's not i'll take those off offline and then we'll get all the parts ready to put into the ultrasonic cleaner first thing i'll do i'll cut a little bit of wire and put it on this great wheel here so once it comes out of the ultrasonic, we all know it's the strike side one. So there's all our wheels on my little foam block. Now I'll cut some wire. We'll wire them all up. Keep each side separate. Time side, first wheel, second wheel, third wheel. If you find this video helpful, please leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe. Right, wind the wire up. Now, another piece of wire. Snip him off. Bend it in half. Strike side first wheel. Maintenance cam. Warning wheel. And the fly. Tighten them up.
short piece of wire for these two parts. And the motion works. Tighten them up. And they're now ready to go. Now I get the basket from the ultrasonic cleaner. And we start to put the parts into it. We'll start off with the, the plates. Make sure we can get them low and up down that they're completely covered. Then some great wheels, motion work parts in there, then the time side, then the strike side wheels. So there they are. Right, I'll put those in the ultrasonic cleaner for five minutes. When they come out, I'll wash them, rinse them, and then give them a final rinse in some naphtha. Then run a heat gun over them on low to evaporate the rest of the naphtha. Then I'll bring them back to the bench. 